Well, it's great to see you. I'm WTL 11 Chief Meteorologist Chris Vickers, and in today's edition of Climate Friday, we're going to be talking what else but June tornadoes, and we're going to put the recent tornadoes in context based on climate and perhaps a fingerprint of climate change. So welcome into this edition of our Climate Friday newsletter. We thank you so much for being a subscriber and, of course, continuing to follow along in our weekly updates. All right, so let's get into the data here. Our Climate Friday is going to be talking about climate change and tornadoes. So let's set the stage of what occurred back on June 15th of 2023. We had a historic outbreak of tornadoes across Northwest Ohio and Southern Michigan. And before we get to the climate talk, we're going to take you through each and every one of these just to show you how truly incredible it was. First tornado that did touch down was near Detroit Beach. EF1 confirmed tornado. Winds to 90 miles per hour. That one went off the Lake Erie shores. And the big one here in Point Place rated an EF2 tornado. High end EF2 with winds to 100. 130 miles per hour and not only did this one wreak damage across uh, parts of uh, the Toledo Metro and Point Place came down just east of Telegraph Road right across Detroit and uh, crossing I-75 right around Souter Avenue uh, that uh, tornado was tearing up some buildings and eventually went into our neighborhoods in and around Point Place eventually how about this we captured some incredible video that crossed over the mouth of the Maumee River and this video captured by Andre Willard and sent in by his wife Nicole here it is that that is a uh, grassy island. Look at the inflow into this tornado as it comes over grassy island and eventually makes its way through the Maumee River and it is just grinding at this point, turning it up and it's going to make a direct hit head on with this Lake Erie freighter that was in the mouth of the Maumee River and uh, here it comes. There it is. That tornado going right across the screen and at this point Andre was in about uh, the 90 foot level up in that wheelhouse, that tug that was getting ready to push that barge out onto the uh, Lake Erie. Reported wind gusts of 148 miles per hour as this tornado whipped right across the bow of that vessel. And really incredible that nobody was injured or hurt in that ordeal. And uh, that goes, uh, generally speak, with most of the tornadoes that we had reported. Brand new tornado that was confirm confirmed to Lucas County. Uh, this one was near Maumee Bay State Park and EF zero confirmed tornado. Max winds 80 miles per hour. This was a water spout over Lake Erie that eventually came on shore uh, near Maumee Bay State Park right around the boardwalk. It did some damage uh, to some trees in around the boardwalk. Had an EF1 confirmed tornado in Sandusky uh, County near Rice Township. And how about this? Just south of Oak Harbor, an EF2 confirmed tornado. Max winds to 130 miles per hour, and that one was on the ground for about 3.5 miles. Small, quick EF0 tornado. This near Vickery in Sandusky County. Max winds 80 miles per hour. And down toward Bellevue also had a tornado. Uh, that in Sandusky County EF zero tornado winds at 80 miles per hour and several tornadoes reported down in Huron County. How about an EF two confirmed tornado in Peru Township? And this was a massive tornado 1100 yards wide on the ground for nearly 10 miles. That is about a half mile wide at its maximum point. And this one uh, was going south to Huron County. Took a little bit of a jaunt to the east right across Route 61. And this is the moment we actually captured a debris ball or tornado debris signature on radar. A couple more in Huron County, North Fairfield and Greenwich uh, EF1 tornado with winds to 105 miles per hour. So let's recap those 10 total tornadoes, most in one day. It's now surpassing 2002. Incredible that we've gone about two decades without seeing that. So the timeline of those tornadoes, all 10 of them now are laid out right there. And of course, you can get more on WTOL.com. And we take you, took you through those uh, very quite detailed. All right, so let's start to dive into some of the data with this now. Tornado warnings and accuracy. Just wanted to throw this at you. Now, it's just pure fact that not all tornadoes have warnings. Sometimes we can't catch each and every one of them. On average, National Weather Service issues about 2,389 tornado warnings each and every year. Now, when we're talking greater tornadoes or more significant ones, EF2 or greater, we have a probability of detection or alerting and warning before those even occur 81% of the time. And on average, the warning lead time is about 14 minutes. That is tremendous that we are able to warn so many tornadoes before they even reach the ground or touch down. Fact is, not all tornadoes have warnings. And an example of that, what occurred in Point Place. Ever since then, though, each and every one of those tornadoes 
had a warning associated with them. So from a climate perspective, this is incredible. Ohio averages about 22 tornadoes per year in Ohio. We had 10 in a single day. Now we actually are in the peak of tornado season here in Ohio. It does peak in the month of June where we average about four tornadoes just in the month of June in Ohio. And again, we had 10 tornadoes in one day so far above the climate normals. Now, nationally speaking, typically January, February and March are very low with the tornado probability. And if we do get them, they're generally down south. But a very sharp peak in April, May and June, nationally speaking, is when we see our greatest amount of tornadoes by month. Now, July, August and September tends to calm down a little bit and then a little mini peak of tornado season does tend to fire up October and November once again when we've got a clash of the seasons. So tornadoes per decade, what has occurred since the 1980s? Back in the 1980s, we averaged about 850 tornadoes a year. In the 1990s, about 1,000. In the 2000s, about 1,200. And just uh, last decade, about 1,300 was the average per decade of tornadoes. Current average, about 1,300. So the question is, from a climate perspective, are we seeing an increase or more frequency or greater frequency of tornadoes? Generally speaking, even though the data would show that, the answer is no, we are not. We just have better detection of the tornadoes with current methods and Doppler radar, more storm spotters, and to be honest with you, more cell phones and video cameras that are out. So we are detecting tornadoes at a higher rate, but it doesn't appear that there's any significant increase in tornadoes when it comes to the actual amount that is occurring. So when we're talking about climate change, though, uh, it is no secret that our atmosphere is generally becoming warmer. So what could that do from a tornado standpoint? Now, the increase in atmospheric moisture would make tornadic activity more likely. We have a higher moisture content in our atmosphere, and generally speaking, that may lengthen the season of the p uh, potential for tornadoes as well. So that is one factor based on climate change that would be more likely to increase the number of tornadoes but there are some offsetting characteristics to this. With climate change, our wind shear in the atmosphere, which is also a necessa necessary ingredient for tornado development, tends to decrease with a warmer atmosphere. So we've got two competing changes that are going on right now. Higher atmospheric moisture, but also less wind shear over time. And these tend to balance each other out. So when it comes to climate change and tornadoes, there is no definitive link between a warming climate and higher amounts of tornadoes. Now, traditional tornado alley does occur across North Texas all the way up to Central Plains. There has been some recent climate shifts, though, in our tornado alley to more of a northwest or midwest hotspot that is also been nicknamed Hoosier Alley that does include parts of Indiana and down toward Dixie Alley as well into the southeast. It is possible that in a changing climate, we could see a shift somewhat in where we typically see Tornado Alley or at least the frequency of tornadoes. We appreciate you signing up for our Climate Friday newsletter. And of course, we want you to be a regular subscriber to this so you get our weekly email and our video updates here on YouTube as well. We're happy to talk to you more about tornadoes, especially the wake of the tornadoes that came through our area, unprecedented in modern times at least, in the amount of tornadoes that we had. Ten tornadoes in one day was certainly well above what is normal for a climatological average, and we'll continue to keep you up to date on the latest happenings in climate for our area and nationwide coming up.